Hello friends, my name is Vasily from Property Wizard and today we're going to find out once and for all, do gutter covers work in the city of Victoria in British Columbia? The most common one that we've run into is this type of gutter guard where there's all of these perforations and they do work, but the holes are large enough for a lot of asphalt, for granules off of the shingles to fall through and pollen can make it through and even pine needles. What we found uh, recently especially, we've been removing some of these gutter guards for some of our customers and having to clean out underneath because there's still a lot of algae and moss and all of that kind of debris collecting under them. And it becomes much more of a pain to actually remove these things because they're gonna be screwed on at many different points. And uh, so what we're looking into is potentially installing some of these surgical mesh leaf filters. And behind me here, I have my setup of a few different types of guards. So on the very bottom, we have our standard gutter with a leaf strainer installed over the downspout. We have our foam gutter guard over here. We have our aluminum with the perforated holes up here. We have the leaf filter gutter guard over here, the surgical mesh. And then we have our plastic mesh, which is quite a bit bigger than even the aluminum ones. And I have right here a bucket of fresh gutter butter that we've pulled out from different gutters around the city. And I'm gonna try and rub it into all of these and we're just gonna figure out once and for all, which one of these works the best and which one you should put on your house or which one you shouldn't have at all. So let's begin. Starting out, this is our all open gutter. No gutter guards at all. All that we have installed is one of our leaf strainers. These are quite nice because there's a hole at the top. And so all of your debris, all of your gutter butter can still collect around it and a little bit of water can flow through. The biggest advantage here is that it's still gonna be easy to clean. Um, the big debris has bunched up around the leaf strainer. So at some point you will have to clean this out. It's not uh, completely foolproof. And then also on the inside of the downspout here, you can actually see there's some debris that is able to fall through. So that stuff could end up in your perimeter drains if it's not cleaned out regularly. Advantages, easy to clean, it's accessible, you can see what's going on. Disadvantages, it still lets a little bit of debris down into the, the downspouts and into the perimeter drains, and it has to be cleaned. Now we're taking a step up to having a gutter guard. This is actually my least favorite because of how difficult it is to clean. And over time, I, I think this is a very strong place for weeds and plants and stuff to start to grow. Like if you imagine um, a planter bed, this is the ideal surface for roots to come through. But let's give it a try. So this is our foam inserts, our foam gutter guard, and we're gonna have all of our dirt land there in there, and let's just give it a good rub. Well, the first couple times, I suppose you could just leaf blow off the top. You can still see there's so much dirt and pine needles stuck inside. So now we have to actually remove it. And this is the really tough part because look at how tightly it's stuck in there. You have to press it underneath every one of these hangers. There's still all of these pine needles and dirt stuck in there. So you could just imagine what's gonna happen after a very long time if we leave it for a couple of years. This thing just becomes full of worms and roots and different plants and flowers. Basically what we've had to do is pull these out, lay them down on the driveway, hit them, whack them really hard to try to shake everything out and then give them a rinse and it's still not perfect. We They're always full of cobwebs and different plants and all these pine needles that just will not go. The foam insert gutter guard, should you use it? Maybe it'll work for a year and I uh, still have to clean it because there's a lip in the gutter. So everything's gonna get stuck in there. It's not really gonna fly out. This is one of my least favorite options. I, I probably wouldn't put this on my own house. Next, a big step up from the foam gutter guard. We have our vinyl with a fine plastic mesh over top. 
So with these, I'm pretty confident that not too much debris is gonna collect on top, but my question is how much stuff is going to fall through? The ideal gutter guard is one that would prevent you from having to do any cleaning at all, from ever having to remove the guards, remove the screws, and uh, cleaning time. So you come through with your leaf blower, just brush off the dirt off the top, and what are you left with? You've got a bit of a plugged up gutter cover here. So the mesh has attracted a little bit of dirt, moss and algae. If we look on the inside with our GoPro cam, you do actually have a surprising amount of dirt. So all of this dirt is uh, spaces where your moss and algae is going to be able to grow. And that is what we end up having to come and clean out. So it's not just the stuff that falls through, it's also gonna be the algae and the moisture that grows on there. Should you use this on your roof? If you have really big leaves around the property, maybe some maple trees, those produce really big leaves, that's stuff that's not gonna fall through. But if you have a lot of pine needles, and if you have an asphalt shingled roof, down the road, this type of gutter guard is probably gonna cause you trouble. Moving on to local favorites, the aluminum gutter guard with the perforated holes on the top. I see this one the most in a couple different variations. This one we got from Home Depot and it has a bit of a bend in it. My experience, the holes are a little bit too big. So it's gonna be the same thing as with the vinyl gutter guard, although maybe even easier for the material to fall through. I'm already hearing the sound. Yeah, these are not working as well as the vinyl guards. I'm a bit surprised. I actually thought this would be uh, the better one. Leaf blow everything off. And we think that it's clean. But yet again, a lot of dirt that has fallen through, which is just gonna be feed for the algae and moss that is going to grow down there. All you need is to add just a little bit of water and pollen, and you're gonna have all kinds of plants growing inside your gutters that you cannot get to because you've screwed the whole thing down and it's permanently on there. Another gutter guard, that doesn't work. Tragic. Finally, we are down to the surgical mesh. This is supposed to be the magic one. Will it work? Should you install it? Let's find out. While it's brand new and clean, I can, all, I can see through. I could actually tell you if it's, if it's clean or not, which that, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I just wanna remind you guys, this is real gutter butter that we pulled out of the gutters here around town in Victoria. Now let's simulate cleaning it off with a leaf blower. You could also use a pressure washer for this. You could blast out all the bits of dirt perfectly well. Out of all the options here, that dirt is gonna be the finest dirt that has landed through any of them. So maybe not too many trees around and you want it to get the best of the best, this is gonna do it for you. Now our company, when we install these things for you, what we're also gonna be doing is uh, bolting this gutter guard to the fascia board on the back. So we would actually put a bend in here, mount it up against the wall, against the fascia board, so that it holds up from the top and the bottom. It makes your gutter stronger. And what I would also do is adding some openings where we can go in with an extra long pressure washer hose and actually clear it out towards the downspouts. Long term, I would expect this area where the dirt and the water flows through to probably get clogged up with moss as well. And so you could probably pressure wash this every few years, maybe every five years. So gutter guards, are they maintenance free? Are they perfect? Unfortunately, no. Will you have to clean it? Yes, of course. You still need somebody to go up on the roof every year to clean off the valleys, uh, the roof surface, leaf blow it. And just as well, you may have to pressure wash the surface and the inside every few years. Uh, probably not that often, maybe every three, every five years, but some debris will fall through and moss will grow in there because it will remain damp inside of the gutter. There's no way about it. So when you choose an installer for your micro mesh gutter guards, make sure they also leave openings and access ports for your downspouts and different corners so you can actually get a tool in there and blast it out when you need to. So if you want gutter guards installed on your property, or if you want window cleaning, pressure washing, roof moss removal, 
Call Property Wizard. We are the most outstanding exterior cleaning home service from Schwartz Bay to Souk. We can install gutter guards for you, do it properly and safely. And so let's get this done the correct way.